Then a minor miracle happened. Range Wilson. It was fall 2005, and I had reached a turning point in my life. I had been working hard on my screenwriting for over five years, and the time had come to submit one of my screenplays to New Regency, the Hollywood production company where I worked. One of the script readers there agreed to evaluate my screenplay entitled, Bill Waters Wants Your Daughters. The result was a clear pass. The script reader liked my concept and thought the first 15 pages were interesting. But after that, as the script reader put it, the narrative fell apart. Now back in the late 90s, a strong concept and an interesting first 15 pages might have been enough to close a sale. But now it was 2005, and if I wanted to break into Hollywood, I would simply have to become a better screenwriter. Shortly after I got the bad news about my screenplay, I ran out of money. I had been playing the credit card game for a long time, but now I only had one move left declaring bankruptcy. The issue is that the bankruptcy laws were about to change. If I did not file now, it would get much more difficult to do so in the future. But in a way, the change in the law made me feel better about the situation. The credit card companies were changing the rules in the middle of the game. That made me feel justified in giving them the middle finger and exiting the game completely. In the meantime, I had to figure out how to balance my budget. That meant raising my income and cutting my costs. On the income side, New Regency simply did not pay as well as most other Hollywood companies. I loved my job there, but I reluctantly updated my resume and started a job search. Given my experience, I could expect to find a better paying Hollywood job relatively quickly. I also started looking around for a new place to live. The bachelor pad was a great value for the money, but I simply had to find someplace cheaper. After some searching, I found a room in a shared condo in Playa del Rey, the hardscrabble neighbor of Marina del Rey. My housemates were upset that I was leaving, but I told them I simply had no choice. Then a minor miracle happened. The credit card company sent me a bunch more credit cards. To this day, I am still baffled by their decision. I had just given them the middle finger while eradicating tens of thousands of dollars in debt but they did not seem to care. Whatever their reasoning, I now had some financial security. If I could manage to break even month to month and only use my new credit cards for unusual expenses, I might not have to make the dramatic changes I had been contemplating. After giving it some thought, I decided to stop my job search and to continue living at the bachelor pad. My housemates were thrilled, and somewhat unexpectedly, so was I. During my housing search, I had gained a renewed appreciation for Aaron, Grant, and David. Despite our differences, we were all part of the same Hollywood clan. There was a certain sparkle to all of our personalities, which made it worth enduring whatever minor annoyances might arise because of our differences. In short, things were looking up. And as it turned out, things were about to get much, much better. Tune in next time to find out how I tripled my income. Until then, regular viewers, please like, comment, and or share. New viewers, please click the icon to subscribe, the playlist to catch up on my life videos, or watch a video that YouTube has picked for you personally. My name is Range Wilson, and I'll see you next time.